Welcome back, everybody, to the Audi Kings last episode. We lost everything to Tiber Septim via an event that I really couldn't do a lot about, but I think we came out of it pretty goddamn well. So we're playing as Yarl Longship the second there of Cropswood. We lost our kingdom level title. We lost all of our very powerful vassals, but we kept the Imperial Isle and we kept our duchy that we've had basically the entire campaign here. Tiber Septim, now our king, the guy who usurped our title from our father there, Longship the Cleansing Flame. Died under suspicious circumstances in brackets, killed by Tiber Septim. Does it like show on his kill list? I've actually never considered that. Um, does it, does it just say? No, okay. I, I'd be kind of ridiculous. I've never once thought that maybe in CK2 they, they genuinely showed people you assassinated on your kill list. But yeah, no, it, it, we're alright. So, we managed to get out of it pretty decently by marrying off our daughter. Well, it was our granddaughter at the time because we were still playing as Longship. We married her off matrilineally to Tiber Septim, because of course he wasn't Tiber Septim at that stage, he was just Chalty Earlybeard, so he would have accepted it because he's just a random courtier. He's married now matrilineally to Trebuchet, and she, more to the point, is Pregananant, so hopefully we're going to see ourselves a dragon-blooded prodigy tall Diggus Bickers Julius, inheritor to the Kingdom of Nivenae once again, as, as he should have been in the first place. But more importantly, we'll get the Amulet of Kings and can definitely wear it. Blood, the drawing blood of Rumen Cyrodiil and Tiber Septim. I think that could be very, very cool. I don't know if Tiber Septim ever gets a bloodline, though, because he still doesn't have it. Now, another important thing to point out for those of you into your Outer Scrolls lore, um, Tiber Septim has taken part of Morrowind. Now, in actual lore, as far as I recall, what actually happened is he tried to take Morrowind, and... The, the Tribunal Temple were like, hey, pack that in right now, because, of course, you know, you got Vivek and Amalek, so it's still helping you out. And I think they ended up giving him Numidium in exchange for him not destroying Morrowind. Whereas this time around, he's just he's just absolutely gunning for it. He's only conquesting, like, province by province. I don't know why, because he does have the Warlord... He does have the Warlord trait, which I believe lets him go for kingdom level titles. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe they've adjusted it. But he should have been able to get more than that. Maybe it's something to do with the fact that it's under the Tribunal Temple as a tributary. I don't know. Either way, he's in Tomorrowwind. And, and, and he's going to be kind of just declaring war after war. Oh my god, they had a child. There he is. Kill Klimek, Klimek Tiberson. We can't rename him. Why can't we rename him? He's our dynasty. But there he is, though. Look at that. Dragon blood descended from a dragon blood, as such to believe have some measure of power. Not only does he get the dragon blood from Tiber Septim, he's also blood of Rim and Cyrodiil, the blood of Biafra, and of course the blood of the Five Hundred Canyons. There, nine Marshall at the age of zero is pretty impressive stuff. Now he is obviously Tiber Septim's son, so I very much doubt Tiber Septim is going to say, "Yeah, he's not going to let us do that." Child would be a hostage with the child's grandfather. Fine. Uh, you better at least educate him then, because that's going to be our future character and inheritor of the whole of the of, of Nibane. So if we go to Cyber Septim now, our future character, our daughter's, who, who is of course our next heir, our daughter's son is also Cyber Septim's heir. This has worked out incredibly well. This has worked out fantastically well. Now, I've never played as a Dragonborn, and I believe if you have the Dragon Blood, there's a higher chance of being the Dragonborn, as long as there isn't one already. I would love to play as a Dragonborn at least one of these goddamn Outer Kings campaigns. The amount we've played right now, to have never seen it once, is... Fairly unimpressive. Obviously, Elrang Son got it, but then we never actually ended up playing as as Elrang Son. The series ended with with Elrang. So the glory of the divines, fifty one gold, absolutely not. So what I am doing is is still building up the Imperial Isle into somewhere that is going to be incredibly powerful. We've got to remember that this is going to be the capital of the kingdom again. So we might as well, with this character, do everything we can for the dynasty. He's going to be a family man. Uh, what have we got in terms of? Do we really tax that much? How much? Surely we're making them. I mean, we're already making a load of gold. That's not to mention the fact how much gold probably Tiber Septim is making from his entire empire now. 30 gold per month, not including his troops being raised there. We are currently making 13 gold per month, not including the money we're paying us to Tiber Septim. But when we play as this kid, we're going to be making a fortune anyway. We don't really need that. I do want to go for troops. I don't want to go for like, like troops, levy size, levy reinforcement. Right? That type of thing would be much, much more valuable. Now, we're doing everything for the dynasty, right? We want to play as tall as possible in the future, by which I mean having, you know, what the, uh, trying to control the Imperial Isle and every sub holding as well would be incredible. If we can possess all of this as the Emperor, that would give us an insane amount of boost, not to mention all the extra bonuses we get from the Imperial City itself. So I'm thinking... With this dude, we could afford to take on a little bit of tyranny, right? We're probably not going to get too above our station. We're probably not going to, you know, try and do anything against Tiber Septim. We've guaranteed the future of our dynasty anyway. So with this guy, we could definitely fuck around with things. We could do some weird plays here. So what I'm thinking is, I want to take back everything inside the Imperial City and we'll give away all of our other provinces. Uh, just, just because, as I've explained before, having multiple uh, uh, holdings inside one province is going to give us so many more stacking bonuses. So we can do things like just straight revoke the title, take on a whole bunch of tyranny, but we need title revocation. So we can actually, we can actually pass that immediately here. Uh, everybody's in support of it. Yeah, okay, let's go for that. I'm kind of happy to turn this guy into a bit of a tyrant if it means the empire is going to be our new empire, more to the point, is going to be super powerful in the future. So if we go up to this dude now, revoke title, we can do that. He'll say yes. 
and that that's going to guarantee it. Now, that fast lopping in for minus 15 is only for like 10 years. And our dude is currently what? Our dude is currently 49. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it and see what we're looking at afterwards. Thank you. That's ours now. What are we looking at in Fort Legion? 64 opinion still. I'm going to vote that one too. It's good. We're, we're minus 30 with all of our vassals at this stage, but we're already very, very powerful, as you can see. What are our vassals? Our vassals still like us. I think we can afford to take one more on the chin here. Do you want to take the waterfront or do you want to take the northern district? Um, what's better? Uh, you'd assume the northern district, right? Uh, 30, 31 gold. Actually, no, the, the waterfront district is slightly better there. Um, we can have troop count as well. Yeah, the waterfront is just better. So I'll revert the waterfront too. And what we can do is we can win back some of this uh, some of this tyranny, some of this negative vassal opinion that we're starting to accrue. To be fair, we don't really have many vassals either. And they still like us a lot. Revert back with vassal titles minus 45. Lasts for another five years. We're definitely going to be able to live that long. And we're not at risk of rebellion. I might just revert the whole fucking thing and dish it all out, you know. I think that's a great idea. Because the vassals that we give out from when we dish out these new territories won't be bothered by the fact that we've revoked all these titles. You've got to remember, we can revoke everything. We can go up to this dude, the Temple District, revoke that. We can hold that because of our government type. I'm going to do it. I'm going to revoke absolutely everything. This might be a horrendous idea, but in the long term, it will definitely be, in my opinion, the best play here. This is incredible. To control the whole of the Imperial Isle, it makes us super, super powerful. And look at how many more troops we can get now. Look at that. We've basically just doubled our troop count from, from our various provinces. This is going to make us incredibly powerful. 27,000 men. Now, to put that into perspective, we can fight what's left of the Cyrodiilic Empire. Around. They've got the whole of the Reach, part of Hammerfell, part of Morrowind there. They've got all of the Colovian estates all the way through to Anvil, all of elsewhere, and a chunk of Argonia too. We're more powerful than them. We are more powerful than them at this stage, and they're almost fully reinforced. They've got another 4,000 men to reinforce. Well, guess what? So do we. The, I mean, that's insane. The, the bonuses we can stack up from this is pretty unreal. So what we want to do now is basically give away all these other provinces we picked up over the course of the campaign. Now, what have we got? Is it all just in, is it all just in this province here? Uh, I don't mind giving these away because we actually never really upgraded them, and obviously it's nowhere near as good as Imperial City. Cropsford. We're going to have to give away our, our capital duchy of Cropsford. Um... I kind of want to give it to a member of the the, the, uh, the house diggers because Julius. 91 living members. My brother, you are not only a good character, but I feel like you deserve at least some land here. Very relative to court. Join me. Join me. You'll make travel arrangements immediately. Welcome, my brother. I will grant you Cropsford. Oh, we need two more councillors to uh, to help vote in favour of that. Siege Tower, welcome. He'll definitely vote for that. And that dude is obviously a loyalist. Siege Tower, Cropsford is yours. Take care of it. This is our this is our capital. This is our this is our dynastic capital at least. We want to make the Imperial Isle our primary title uh, so that we can actually give away crops of food. There we go. Alright. In fact, we might not be able to because it's a Dutch level title. No, we can. We're good. Right. There you go, my friend. My brother. Dig there must always be a Digger Spickers Julius in Cropsford. You know how it go. You know how it do. He's a very good character as well. My God, not only that, he's an adventurer. So, oh, of course, you don't get the the, the uh, levy size out of this. That's cool. I'm, I'm really glad we've done this. Even though it seems like a weird play, I'm really glad we've done it in hindsight. Look, do we really want Sancrator? I mean, obviously, I'd rather have the whole of this. What, is that all we've got, then? We've just got Sanctus and then everything in the Imperial Isle. Um, I'm going to give it away. I'm, I'm actually just going to dish that out to another digger, because Julius, just as a, as, a, as a defender of the Riemann tombs, might be a cool way to phrase it. Who have we got? There's a Java update available, by the way. Thank you, Java. Very cool. Right, okay, let's take a look. Um, we want to go a Great House Mine, my dynasty. We want to search all for men who are unlanded. So we've got Atamo. We've got... Oh, this guy's good. Dureg. I don't even know who Jureg is. Must be a distant family member. We've got a guy there who's proficient in the Thum. We'll go for this dude with his with his high marshal. He seems like a pretty decent guardian. Invite to court. He will accept. Of course he will, because we are uh, we are a great and just ruler. Here you go, my friend. You can have Sancrator. Perfect. Wow. That's been a really, really good reshuffle. And of course, our vassals are probably going to more or less like us. Um, so this guy likes us a lot. Our uh, This guy dislikes us, wants control of the city memorial, the lordship of... Lo Oh, okay. He wants control of it. We've got a bunch of other vassals under us, I guess. Here you go. You want Muck Valley, and you also want... What was the other one? Mermaid or something like that? There you go. You can have that one, too. They, they are his vassals. Like, the, like his direct vassals in here, so we should have them anyway. There we go. That's looking so good. This guy obviously hates us a lot because we revoked all those titles. He's the only dude. Out of that entire thing, the only dude to be pissed off was the Thane of Vilverin. I think that was a great plan. I'm, I'm really happy with how this has ended up. So... Now what do we do that we're unstoppable? Well, honestly, I wasn't going to suggest this, but I think we could start going to war with Cyrodiil. Because they only have, apparently, 16,000 men. We could grab that other province in Urasek. We could try and tidy up the borders of Nibbane. It's still our kingdom at the end of the day. We're just a couple of generations out of place now. We could even start fabricating claims again, because I'm not entirely sure we can become a warlord as a duke, let alone a duke that's under someone else. Um, 
Do you reckon I'm on alabaster? What's that? Oh man, we can grab a chunk of elsewhere. I'd rather not, because it's pointless. Or we can get the the Jurclem on Ur set. That is for the we get the Dutch level tile and we get that one. So we could give that to who's who's the current Duke of Ursac? Oh my brother. This is bad landing so many family members. Like we're a very, very powerful family, don't get me wrong. I, I kinda like that in a way. Let's go for it. Honestly, let's absolutely go for it. There's no point in me getting all these titles, grabbing all these uh oh, what happened to all my men? Oh, because I gave away a bunch of land that we'd upgraded. Yeah, that's fine. Um there's no point us doing plays like this if we're not going to do anything with it. There's no point in us getting all these bonuses, all these stacking troops if we're just going to sit around and, you know, keep building buildings. Speaking of which, I'm going to build some buildings before I forget. Modest measures. I completely forgot we started writing a book. Is that, is that a fairly decent? No, it's really not. It's actually really bad. Um, man, we got a lot of artifacts to try and sell off too. We did get all of our artifacts, didn't we? Dragon scale armor. Oh my god, have we lost our dragon bone sword? I feel like we've lost some decent artifacts here, haven't we? Still got the Ring of Happiness, which is incredible. Let's equip that and that will get rid of stress almost instantly. Did I not re-equip our, our artifacts after succession? Well, we've still got the plus two axe. Don't get me wrong, it's nowhere near as good as that Dragon Bone Sword we have, which does kind of suck a little bit, but that's okay. Um, what books have we got equipped then? Fall of the Snow Prince is fine, but it's like the Righteous is obviously pretty good at, as well there. We've got the Ring of Aegis and the Ring of Happiness. Do we want the Ring of Sunfire instead? Ring of Aegis gives plus ten defense, that's huge. Damn it, we've got to go and get ourselves another sword now. I wonder if there's like a flawless Daedra sword or a flawless Dragon Bone Sword clicking, kicking around. Let's take a look. Flawless. Now's probably not the time to be doing this, but hey, we've got a little bit of cash. I guess we can get the Commander Tong on it or something. Um, Chief of Margan has Velofty Blade. Flawless Daedric Armor would be awesome, but of course he's got that equipped. I don't think we can steal equipped armor, can we? Flawless Ancient Nord Armor. We've got this person on the other side of the world. Flawless. Let's go Daedra. Okay, so there is a couple. King Paul of the Colovian Estates? What? Still nothing there. Okay, thank you. The, the artifact system in CK2. Garbage. This isn't the Outer King's fault. This is just CK2 being trash. That dude does have flawless Daedric armor. Quality 6. What does that do compared to our dragon armor then? Because I don't believe we have flawless dragon armor. We just have... Uh, yeah, we just have dragon scale armor. So it's a slightly higher quality. Martial plus 3. Personal combat skill plus 19. I think they're the important things to remember there. Uh, versus... Daedric armor gives martial plus 4. Personal combat skill plus 24. So it's kind of just like a direct upgrade. Um, not to mention the other bonuses too. I love a, uh, like a superior Daedric sword as well. Uh, why don't we try Dragon Bone? So there's the, okay, two dudes that we can't interact with, which is a real shame. My god, what is this? Unreadable string. No way. So that's a, um, that's very cool. What that is, is a kind of joke item. As you can see there, simple piece of string. This thread is actually contained boundless knowledge. Profane, profound yet profane. If one could gain access to the secrets within, the secrets of creation itself would be un- Veiled or revealed there. Uh, cool. That's that's very cool. It's quality 30 as you can tell. Ne there's no other artifacts in the game that have that high quality. It's essentially just an Easter egg. I can't believe he's actually got that. That's awesome. Um, we'd l I would I would really like that. I would really like that. I might even try and go raid that dude to try and get it because it is an incredibly powerful artifact. I don't know if it has any other special effects or whether it is just a. Oh man. We might be going on a trip to Akavir. Flawless dragon bone sword. Quality seven. You're probably not going to find a better artifact than that. I don't, I don't think we're actually going to be able to find a, a, a better... No, th there is no Daedric weapon, is there? Wow. So if we can get the armor from him and the sword from that other dude, we are we are going to be unstoppable. That would be cool to have a dragon-blooded emperor, blood of Type Septim, blood of Rumen Cyrodiil, house big as Dickus, on the throne of Nibane, sat in the, it's, it's fully upgraded Imperial Isle with that. That's that's a power fantasy right there. This appeals to the male fantasy. What have we got? Uh, so he's actually coastal. Cool. And he's the one with the flawless dragon bone sword. So we're going to go for him first. Derma, and then the other one, Tefer Mahir, is this guy over here. Now, where's your capital, then? That would be, uh, yes, yeah, so we got that one there. That's unfortunately not coastal. We can still raid it, and I believe there's still a chance of getting the artifact, but unfortunately, you can't, you, you can't get gold out of it. We're not really there for the gold, though, are we? We're there for their incredibly good artifacts, that unreadable strength. I can't believe someone's actually found it. What if there's anyone else? Anyone else that we could try and steal it from? Now, I think the, 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 the amount you pay to the Commander Tongue or the Thieves Guild when they steal an item is, is relevant, or sorry, relative to its quality. So if we try and steal a quality 30 artifact, it's probably going to cost us a small fortune. Unread. Oh my god, there's another one. Is that seriously? Oh, he's, got, he's actually genuinely got another one. Wow, what happens if we try and steal that? This might be a horrible mistake. Unreadable strength. We can't. Uh, it counts as... It counts as an average theft. We just need 150. Are you kidding me? Okay. Well, I mean, obviously those things also give learning plus five, and they're insanely good. I, I absolutely want one of those. I have no idea how you get them as well. I have no idea how they spawn into the game. So, one thing about the war then. Let's go back to some more important things here. The, the war with the Cyrodiil Empire, or what's, what's at least left of it. The war looks fairly risky, I will admit. It, we've got 8,700 men because we gave away some land without waiting for our stuff to fully reinforce. They've got, what if they have like 20,000? You've got to remember, 
the Imperial Isle, we have so many morale bonuses from some of these buildings. We've got like steam buffs. Morale of armies plus 30%. We've got, what was the other one I built? We've got surrounding gardens. Morale of armies plus 10%. Lounge, 5% bonus to that one too. We, our, our troops are surprisingly good. Like, like, um, what's the best way to describe it? Our troops are probably not as good as the enemy expects. Why can I not remember the word? Help me. That's someone in the comment section. If you know what word I'm trying to think of, help me out with that. Anyway, they're, they're, they're not going to expect the Spanish Inquisition is what I'm getting at. So why don't we just march on there? So they're coming over the river. Can we beat them to that first seed? Absolutely, almost certainly not. We could get them across the river crossing. Let's head up to, okay. Ah, there we go. Man, we actually outran them there. Um, I want to lure them across the river. So, Holland, where, where does, is there a river between us? There's not. So now's not the best place to fight them. Can we escape from this? Okay, well, I guess we're fighting them here then. We've got forest. I think I'm going to resign. Just because we've got fucking 49 marshal. I resign from council. Sorry, Ty, but that's him. We're going to lead our troops. Let's get Ballista on the flank. And let's get House Diggers Bickers united. 49, 22, 22. All Diggers Bickerses. Let's see what we can do. This is going to hopefully do a decent amount of damage here. Let's auto balance. Could even put it all on the center. Um, so you've got 3,000 men on that one. We've got 17. Oh, God. These armies are really poorly balanced. Holy shit. Give us that. You take those. Uh, no, no, no. Give, give us that one. You take that one. Uh, there we go. Let's put a sub-commander on here. And let's put a sub-commander on this one. Because this is now the... Oh, no, this one's the weakest. Let's put a sub-commander on here, too. It's not going to help out too much, but it is better than nothing. We need everything we can do for this one. Good luck. We've got all those books. We've got Rizlab the Righteous. We've got Incredible Commanders. I think we may be able to win this. It's going to be bloody close. It really is. Look at our morale holding, though. Our morale is holding incredibly strong, and we're killing three times their troops. Now, of course, their army isn't three times as big as ours. That would imply to me that we've probably got this in the bag. Uh, they're going to try and reinforce. It's not going to help. Come on, come on, come on. Up. Fuck off. Nonsense. Yes, we've got him. We've actually got him. Perfect. All right, that was good. That was very that was very dangerous, I will admit, but that was, that was very good. We are now an experienced general as well, by the way. That's what that event popped up saying. Do you want to be proud or do you want to be whatever else? They are retreating into us because, of course, we're an organizer. So that's uh, that's them down with all. Or at least we've got some movement speed bonuses. This is good. This is very, very good. Let's head down to Brazil then and just burn the place down. I assume they haven't got 4,000 defenders. No, they've barely got 1,300. Fine. Let's head over there. He wants us to be his advisor, maybe? Commander. I mean, I mean that's that's kind of understandable. But also, I'm going to say no because I don't want to get involved in Tiber Septim schemes to try and conquest Morrowind or whatever. I feel like it's a, that's a bad move for us. Let's just burn down Brazil and that should hopefully be enough to give us this... Uh, Give us this war score. Let's get uh, Alexandro over here instead. He's a very good martial commander as well. Because it's, it's, it's only because we've just made our our daughter, our spy master there. Right, I saw that one down. Perfect. 60% war score. She, she's got some other troops elsewhere, so I should probably not be assaulting this down so haphazardly. 63%, huh? It's kind of expected we'd have more war score than that at this stage, I'll be completely honest. Okay. She's got 6,000 troops somewhere. She's leading troops over in the fog of war around here. So let's drop our spy master over there to try and uh, see what we can find. There she is. She's fighting in, uh, she's fighting Valenwood. She's fighting Valenwood. Honestly, let's, let's let Valenwood kill off some of her troops. We'll just stand here and siege passively for the time being. I assume we can, we can raise another 4,000 men from the Imperial Isle too. So, uh, this, this strategy is, is starting to pay off. Like, we're able to raise a ridiculous amount of troops so, so quickly now. I didn't actually notice that they've taken out the war goal. That's a little annoying. Oh, they've sent another 4,000 men. Thank you. I will take this free war score. How generous of you, sir. And that will definitely, definitely be the end of this war. Boom. Okay, thank you. It's not much, but it is something, huh? And more to the point, we've proven once again that we can definitely, definitely defeat uh, defeat the Imperials. So can we shuffle you under... Do I not have the... I have the Duchy of set now, right? I do. Should we give that to my brother? I guess we don't need to. We just have them all as our vassals for the time being, because they're not going to hate us. Uh, it's, it's still only this dude who was here when we revoked all those other vassal tiles. Cool. Well, this is very, very strong. And now to get ourselves an unreadable string. We'll steal it from this dude. We're still going to obviously go on that. What's the black band? I feel like this dude might be a member of the Dark Brotherhood. I just get the strange impression that this this uh, expert, experienced agent here, this possessed, cynical, shrouded, armor-wearing, black band-wielding dude with an unreadable string might be a member of the Dark Brotherhood. Either way, let's let's go and grab this one. Uh, hire the Kamana Tong. Those guys always seem to work pretty well. They failed, but of course we don't pay anything. And then apparently we can just keep spamming it here. That's a little bit overpowered, I will admit. Come on, a tong. Do it. Curses. All right. You know what? I feel like that's always so, so overpowered. We'll go and visit. We've got to visit. Um, We've got to visit Akavir anyway. We've got to go to Kamal anyway. So we might as well see if we can't steal it in our raid and save ourselves a little tiny bit of gold. It's not going to be a huge amount, but it's still still relevant. Oh, we have no boats. Huh. We don't have any boats at all. What, what, did, uh, did I seriously lose that many ships? Or has the Imperial Isle not got that many? Right. Okay. I guess we'll try and build some galleys. 
So we got anything that gives us ships here. Oh god, this could be a problem. Um, the trip to Akavir might be cancelled on account of us not being able to... Ah, there we go. 12 galleys, fine. It's, it's, it's a lot of our gold there. Th thank god in hindsight we didn't actually succeed with that theft. So I sold all of those spare copies of uh, of books that we had, all the all the armor sets, things like that, just so that we can quickly try and get ourselves some boats as soon as possible here. The military docks are very, very good. 113 gold for 12 galleys is quite a nice deal here. I think with everything I've built now, we should have enough. Oh man, look at all this stuff though. I kind of feel like I want to start upgrading the temple district because they've got some really powerful stuff. And of course, we've got the eastern district in brackets, Arcane University, which also has a whole bunch of other shit too. Wow, okay. Um, I don't know where to start. Let's just get, let's just focus on these galleys for the time being. That might might be enough. I'll wait for these two buildings to finish, and then we'll see what we're looking at here. Well, I guess we might be playing as uh, Union Protectress. What? Union Protectress Trebuchet of Nibane? Why is she called that? Why is she called that? What the fuck kind of a title is that? Well, anyway, um, she's at the city of city of Brightwater. Why is she not with? Why is she not with Type of Septum anymore? Why is her liege changed? Did she? Did he send her off to a an, an order or something? Good God! What is what a strange. And it doesn't matter too much either way. We'll keep a close eye on things. Uh, make sure that she's not, you know, in in complete fucking trouble. Seeing as we might end up playing as a sooner than I expected. Let's get these boats going then. How many troops have we got right now? So we got fourteen thousand men. We're looking at about fifty five galleys once fully reinforced. We are gonna have to wait for them to reinforce as well, unfortunately. Here, um, she'll burn at the stake. Absolutely, burn the witch. Burn the witch. There we go. Um, how are we looking now? 87 boats for only 15,000 men. Oh, God, I still need to build more friggin' docks. Um, okay, is, is that like an imperial, you know, like imperial docks gives 50,000 galleys or anything like that? Is that like a unique, a unique building? There's nothing. Oh, God. Um, well, what have we got down here? Still nothing at all. Shit, this could be a real problem. I never thought that the thing holding us back would be, would be a lack of boat, especially at this stage of the game. Um, yeah, there really is nothing, huh? Shit. Okay, well, let's reinforce. We'll just have to send, like, 8,000 men over to, uh, over to Akavir instead. Fighting on horseback is completely different, aren't the Fighting on foot. We can become a question, which I assume gives mounted troop bonuses or not at all. Wow, okay. Marsh plus one, diplomacy plus one, stewardship plus one. Yeah, we'll take that. I think this is just, again, being part of guilds, we, we had the option to become a blacksmith previously. I might even try going for the mercantile guild just so we can try and get something like architect because it seems so fucking powerful. We've been in the fighters guild the entire game. We're dead. Wow. Oh, shit. Died of cancer. Yeah, because of, yeah, 54 as well. Man, I was expecting to live longer than that. We lost the Yaldum of Alabaster. We lost Fort Legion. No, what? Oh, piss. Okay. We're now playing as Lord Clement. Well, now we are Tiber Septim's wife, Le 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 Jarl Trebuchet of the Imperial Isle. Um, let's go for all the ship. Damn, that sucks. Okay. And this, this she's probably already part of the Mercantile Guild, or at least we should definitely get her into it. City build cost, city build time. What's the other one? Seniors gives general opinion, right? Yeah, let's join the Mercantile Guild. Fuck that. Thank you. Hello. Welcome. Right. Okay. She's Praganan again. Jesus. Um, so let's take a look at her kids. So Clement, why are they all landed? Oh, God, I hate Tiber Septim. This guy's an idiot. What's the other one like? Okay, he's, he's Prodigy. That's awesome. Prodigy, Dragonborn, Nord, with the Lord Board. Oh my god, he's got 15 Marshall. He's one year old. This kid is, is officially our heir. Who's... No, wait, who's Type Septim's heir? Klimek, though. We might have to kill off our own kids. Can I even do that? Can we assassinate a Star Brotherhood to kill off... Kill off child? Kill... Kill murder child? Uh, come on. There we go. Excellent. Okay. So we're gonna have to shuffle it around. So... His air and our air line up. In fact, I might kill off the other one too, just very briefly. We've turned an artifact, so I need to obviously. There we go. We've done it. Okay. So now, Tiber Septon's air, Thane Oddfell, is is obviously his air. Also, our air too. So this kid is in line to inherit everything. We need to educate this kid. I don't know if he'll let us because the child will be a hostage from foreign power. Oh, he will. Oh, good. Guardian's a parent. Thank you. I appreciate that. We can at least try and educate him. It's not fantastic because, of course, we're not the best character in regards to our in regards to our own education. We're only a journeyman magistrate. Okay, fine. Uh, let's groom an air. We might as well roll with that one. I'm glad Lord Longship's gone, but it would surely get boring without him. We were uh, rivals. Oh, because she's ambitious. Right, got it. Um, yeah, no, let's not bother. Let's not bother. No more. We don't need rivals. We need to be beloved now. We are the ruler of the Imperial Isle, after all. Oh, shit, we lost all... And we lost the Western District. What? That's not fair. Uh... Declare war, claim Marseille, Imperial Isle Holdings. Just declare war for them, to be fair. 
These guys aren't going to stop us, what, with this 600 troops versus our 3,000? That's not even fully reinforced either. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to go to war and immediately get those back. Chancellor, Marshal, let's go Stewards, Master. We'll just hire back everybody. They, they were all pretty decent last time. Do you want to shut the gates? Um, I think we'll be fine. I think we can probably risk it here. You collect taxes, you train some troops, you just perform statecraft and try and stop us being assassinated. You're trash. Speaking of stopping us being assassinated, a spy master with more than 11 intrigue is probably a great idea. Um, let's take a look. What have we got? Intrigue. He'll do. Theophon Tharn. Ah, we have a long and illustrious history with House Tharn that involves generally murdering them all. This is a bad idea. You can get the reins of Casimir playing in a minute. Right, Theophon, welcome aboard. Let's get you building a spy network. That seems like, a, that seems like the safest bet. Um, yeah. I don't, well, we could, could have probably gone plot discovery chance, but I doubt anyone's going to scheme against us right now. Us being Ty Perception's wife and kind of loved. I would rather have our own plots going and we'll, we'll sort of see what we can get going with that. Um, I'm going to have you researching cultural tech because that apparently gives more... Favor than hunting apostates in this, which is nice. I think it gives a use to cultural tech, because otherwise it's just fucking garbage. Go on a pilgrimage. Oh, because we're Nord. We can go to High Hrothgar. Okay, fine. I'm going to mark that special interest, because I have a special interest in that. We could also commission a runestone to keep people liking us. Um, I guess we could. We learn the Thum, don't we, immediately if we survive the journey, and I imagine we'll survive the journey. Worst case scenario, we die and play a Cyber Septon's heir, and just have him educate us. Anyway, let's, let's get ourselves set back up again. So let's just make sure we've got the right books equipped here. We've got Unfeudal Warfare, Reserve the Righteous, Fall of the Snow Prince. We've got the Axe, we've got the Dragon Scale Arm, we've got the Amulet of Articulation. Wasn't really much else to do with that, now that I've sold it all, thank God. Still got to go and get those other items too, but I think we'll wait for the time being. To be fair though, we've probably got enough boats. Oh, we don't, we still don't have enough boats. Well, we, we do right now, but when we're fully reinforced, we don't. Continue the pilgrimage. Let's blitz up this hill. Okay, we didn't actually get the Thum this time around. I don't know what determines that then, but we did get 250 favor and 250 piety. We were so skilled we were able to skip every single challenge there because the second option is always a guaranteed success as long as you've got the skill to do so. That seems appropriate. Sure, why the hell not? Rusia Thun gains something, something. Why have we got such low... Oh, because we were in a regency. But even then, we still got... Oh, child was born. I didn't even see what it was. Um, Abalon Tiber's daughter. Damn it, I kind of want to rename all these kids. Can, can we do it? We can't. We can't even rename him. Probably because he's a landed character. We can rename you, but you're not really good enough to warrant it. I don't want to waste any more of my names. Uh, Jesus, all these kids are garbage. I mean, this kid's good, but he's probably going to come out bad because he's kind of not had an education, and now we're educating him, and we're not the best characters to do it. Hey, at least we're an experienced magistrate now. That's good. Hold five out of eight. Cool. Now we need to be going to war. All right, so let's see. What are we missing? We are missing the uh, this to our brother Log. Log. Can I have my can I have my holdings back, please? How many men's he got? Uh, 360. Yeah, log. I'm gonna be taking that from you. You know what? I'm also gonna go to the other holding and just declare both wars simultaneously. To be honest with you, because they're both gonna go to. Uh, why not? Oh, probably because we're already busy with another war and they don't like us declaring multiple wars because they don't know how this game works. Okay. Um. Where where is he? Was that all he's got? Hang on. Is that his? He's got the Yaldum of Alabaster and Fort Legion. That's it. Oh. So this war's going to take all about 30 seconds to win then. Well, that was easy. Thank you. Right, we'll take that one. Boom. Okay, that's that one back, and he's obviously a little bit pissed off. Can we ask him to, to go join the Greybeards? Join the Greybeards. Think about what you've done. Right, uh, then we want to go to you. Now, she might be the same situation. She is absolutely the same situation. Fantastic. Imperial Isle Holdings. We could claim Orosek, uh, which gives us the whole... Does it also give us our Imperial... I don't think it gives us our Holdings, because, of course, that's not part of the Duchy of Orosek, and I'd rather not risk it. Let's just get these. Let's get these back. We took on so much tyranny to get them in the first place. It would be, it'd be an absolute waste of our previous character to have not kept everything inside the Imperial City here. Boom. Thank you very much. And that also explains why... Oh. She's got something else. She's got vassals. Right. She's got vassals because she's the, the, the Duchess of Urasek, whatever the hell she's called, Countess in this time. Right. Let's move around here. And then this should take no time at all. Because these... I don't think we ever really got around to really upgrading them too much. Like Maggie was the big one we upgraded. And that's apparently not part of this duchy. So I haven't really got too much to worry about. Sold that one down. I think we can probably just about risk it. I know it's not super advisable, but what else are we going to do? Really go raid Akavir? Thank you very much. Right, that's the Imperial Isle fully reclaimed. And we have lost two of our Dutch level tiles, but to be honest, does it matter? <laughs> I mean, we're not, we're not really missing too much there, are we? We wanted our, our, our fellow our, our fellow family members to be landed. We want the power of House Diggers Bickers Julius to be far-reaching, so why not? Okay, so we are now entirely focused on the Imperial Isle. Obviously not a bad thing at all here. We've got 127 gold. How much are we making per month? Only 13 gold per month. And this woman is a, 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 a magistrate as well. Do we get build time, build time build cost modifiers? Oh shit, this could be big. Um, right, steward. You are our best steward by far. So if we get you overseeing construction, what are we looking at now? It's definitely less time, but it's still not where we want it to be, really. Um, maybe now's the time to go to Akavir then while we're just waiting for various things to fire off. 
Uh, we still can't fit all these troops on the uh, troops on the boat, so let's uh, split these armies down a little bit. See if we can go steal ourselves an unreadable string, huh? So that's 4,400. Again, it's not massive, but we don't really have the boats for it these days. Who wants to lead our exca ex excavation expedition? Trebuchet, Dureg, and Mle. Let's go. Flawless Dragonborn Sword is right there. Yeah, well, that's this guy. Oh, so we're already in the right sea as well. Let's go for it. What's, what are his defenders looking like? Roughly 1,300. We should be able to take this out, no problem here. Oh, God, our alien ruins. Shit, my money. Um, dispatch emergency repair team. Hopefully that's fine. I'll, I'll check on it later. It's not such a big deal right now. This is going to be big. If we can do this, this is going to be massive for us. Oh, man, I should turn off auto stop plots and just imprison... Oh, we already are. Kill... You want to kill a relative of mine? Trick him in prison. We'll ransom him out. Uh, War haft. Does he have any gold? He does have gold. Uh, we can't trick him in prison, though. Why? Oh, because he's not our... Okay, fine. It doesn't matter too much. Come on, let's get that flawless dragon bone sword. This is going to be such an upgrade because the plus two axe is just kind of a garbage base game weapon, huh? Even even in the base game, even though it's a rare thing, it's still trash. So in the Elder Kings, it's like super trash. We've got strakes and futtocks. Seriously? So we did get an artifact, just completely the wrong bloody one. Now, luckily, the tax modifier, how long is it until we can loot again? Oh, it's a year now. I swear it used to be less than that. Maybe it's something to do with your education. I have absolutely no clue. Um, okay, so where was the other dude that we wanted to loot in, in Akavir? So, King Farza of the Mahir Kingdom. Quickest way is probably through this little bay over here. If we run over to... Although, if we go from there... One, two, three, four, five provinces. Uh, distance to that is 133. That's Oh, it's, yeah, it is actually short to go through this bay. Fine. Roll with that one, just in case they do try and kill our troops. We can we can try and make haste and run back to the ocean quickly. Oh, they're, they're right there. Um, Let's see if we can root round them. Let's just see if we can... Excuse me, don't mind us. Just come in to, uh, just come in to burn down these holdings. Ah. I'm surely with child. My husband will be pleased as we are on the other side of the planet fighting a bloodthirsty peoples to try and steal their stuff. I'm sure they're very pleased about that. Getting literally right into the middle of the goddamn combat. We're fine. We're absolutely fine. Do you see that as mages firing off lightning bolts? I actually have never noticed that before. I, I want to get into another battle so I can show that off because I, I think I saw that right. I swear to God I saw the, that mage. I might have just been going insane. Bear with me. Hang on. Right. Keep a close eye on that mage. He do do lightning bolt. See, I told you he did. That's cool. That's actually a mod available on the, um, ah, we're a higher veteran now. That's good. That's actually a mod available on the, uh, Outer King sub forum as well. The, the, the mage is an entirely separate thing. I think they said they wanted to include it into the base game. I don't remember in hindsight. I know they said they definitely wanted to add the models into, I say the base game, into, obviously, base Elder Kings here. Right, we can burn it down. That's good news. It's going to take a very, very, very long time, and we're taking attrition. What's our attrition looking like? 0 0.8. Okay, that's not too bad. Splits through. We could build a fort. How much is it? 84 gold. Absolutely not. No, you, you guys can just all starve to death instead. Bami is formed. What have we got? Edla. She's also very good. Another another good daughter. Fine. Uh, let's go with... Let's go with... I, I mean, obviously, I want to go struggle, but I don't know if we've got any good guardians for her to go for struggle. Can we get Tiber Septon to educate her? Um, oh, this guy's good. Legendary warrior. Brave. I mean, he's not got the best traits, but legendary warrior is, is tempting just to see how she comes out. Again, do we want to give her one of the good names? I mean, what what siege weapons haven't I used yet? Uh, mortar. I don't think we've had mortar. That's a pretty good one. Like the old school mortar, which was like a little fucking warm old bucket that that shit would launch out of, right? Mortar. There we go. Perfect. Warm old bucket. That's. I'm not. I'm not going to make a good historian uh, ever, am I? There we go. We got this copper ring. I'm leaving Akavir. This place sucks. Let's do it. Hi, the Commander Tong. Get me that unreadable string. We've done it. Oh, wait. Oh my god. I thought that was a Hagraven then. I genuinely thought they got a hag raven in the Kamana Tong. No, what an offensive thing to say to poor Princess Raviana of Great Health Stress. Please, I apologize. I was, it, was, it was a trick of the light, you see. We now have the unreadable strength. Very, very powerful. Um, what does that give? Learning plus five, and it counts as special. Right, okay, good. We don't have much in our special. Can we get two of those? Give us, like, plus ten learning. That would be super, super OP, wouldn't it? Not interested in you anymore. Goodbye. I would love to get that sword, but unfortunately, the only way that you can be, be within Diplo range of Akavir is to be on Akavir. Even in, like, the furthest reach of Argonia still is, is nowhere near close enough, unfortunately. So, unless we can... Oh, we're going to show this guy some cleavage. Why not? Um, unless we can raid it, there is no way to get that flawless Dragonbone sword. But there, might, there may be some others. There may be some flawless Daedric swords, or even superior Dragonbone or Daedric swords are obviously also very, very good. Thank you for watching. Everything is lined up perfectly. Tiber Septon's son, our heir, very, very good. Prodigy, Dragon Blood. We've got the Amulet of Kings just waiting. Tiber Septon will obviously pass it down to his son and heir. We've got the Blood of Rima Cyrodiil as well. We are going to be the world's greatest Cyrodiilic Empire. Mark my goddamn words. Probably next episode because we are getting through these. Uh, we're getting through these characters like wildfire now. They're not lasting ten minutes. 
Big shout out to the insane top tier level patrons for making this series possible in the first place. Thank you to Alpha Scuff, Asuna Kirito, Atmos, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Sidini, Crazy Pack, Croesus, Donald, Fukuno Vasquez, Fluffinata, Fungus King, Gogolus, Harik, Jimbo, Josh Lindeen, Tesla, Justin Wallace, Kaden Carter, Michael Mullen, Mr. Smug, Musk Grapple, Nathan Flores, Necrofilm, Pelvis Presley, Scott, Skaz, Shayok Sinclair, Sir Thor the Sweet, Stannis the Manus, The Forsaken One, Seabag Cruz, Tom Terry 18, Tyler Kendall, Vacuous Bacchus, thank you. Thank you to all of you guys. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you for keeping this possible. Thank you for combating YouTube's ever dropping revenue and making me very scared. Oof, owie, my tum tum. Where is the food gone, mother? Where is the food gone? Big thank you as well to Asaro, Adam Person, Akari, Andrew Wilson, Attila, Bordoon, Ben Trope, Bestmas Max, Better Valerian, Chris, David Van Diepen, Don, Don Cody 2 and 7, Easier to Pronounce Name, Exploding Knees, Fraser Brennan, Gibber Faulkner, Gibber Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerka, Gray, Haji Demar, Hancock, Icy the Great, Irish, Isaac, Israel, Jacob Wolf, Jay Lara, James Barnes, Jason, Jose, Yoranda Vries, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beer, Justin Plot, Justin Walters, Lemon Stark, Lasme, Llewellyn Thomas, Luke Wallace, Matthew, Monty, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Pan Samu, Panther Pearl, Paint Denisar, Russian Oligarch, Billionaire, The Bloody Knight, The Insane Pickle, Wesley Grayson, Wolf, Wade, Wolfie, Yorker, Zach Pillar, and Zico too. See you guys all tomorrow.